it! Can't you see this place is falling apart? We gotta get out of here! <sighs> you're wrong, Leon! If you're not leaving, then neither am I! There's too much on the line for me to walk away! Your first mistake was trying to do everything on your own! I did the same thing once! But the people who care for me, they are the reason I can fight on! Ultimate Break! This bond I share with them. I knew I couldn't do it on my own, but they've supported me all the way here. That's why this victory isn't mine alone. The Platinum Spirit Pact! I can't. The Gold Paladin Clan. They went through so much with me. It'd be wrong to turn my back on them now. A bond forged in battle. It's what got me here. That's why... Name's Cup, and I'm proud to be an Autobot. Now listen up! The universe. Ever thought about it? Well, what if it didn't exist? Where would you be then, huh? Nowhere! That's where! You're lucky you're still here. Every single thing in our universe was gonna be taken out by one lousy traitor. That three-faced goon is the reason the universe almost went belly up. Now I'm gonna tell you how it all went down. Starscream. He'd been causing us trouble for millennia. We thought we'd gotten rid of him when he jumped ship. We were wrong. He survived light years from anything, holding on to a titan of all things. Where is Mentor? I must help him. All the ship systems check out. The original Watchers, too, were selfish. They wanted the knowledge for its own sake, not as a tool to be used. And that attitude triggered the virus. So filled am I with sorrow for Mentor that I do not feel ready for anything. I am purposeless, empty. We will meet again, Silver Surfer. I am the wizard of the court, Hanamichi Sakuragi! Watch out, world! Oh, the guys are right. Why should I give a damn about this stupid basketball team? Roda. Bastard. If Yoko wants him, she can have him. I hate basketball. Hmm. It's spring outside, but in my heart, it's winter. I love basketball! I'm a great athlete! Winter's over, it's spring again! The frost in my heart is gone! Spring is here! Thank you! Thank you very much! Okay, time to become an athlete! Hanamichi Sakuragi, good to meet you! You call me a punk and you sucker punch me? Now let's see how tough your friend really is. Okay, Ruko-san really loves basketball, so it looks like I'd better be a basketball player. Slam dunk, how hard can it be? Let's do this! Okay, here we go! Here we go, slam dunk! Yohei. I just had a great idea! What if I perform the stunts myself? Now, Theo, no need to be jealous. The glare of my limelight is bound to catch you in its glow. I just so happen to have years of training. Thanks to the loop, I'll be able to spend all the time I need honing my act. Not only that, I can plan my stunts to happen at the exact same time I know other stuff is gonna happen. Exactly! Like jumping off a tiger at the exact moment it's jumping off a lion! Here's to the awesomest, greasiest, most heart-palpitating Monday ever! Especially when Coach tried to play badminton with the Bunsen burners and a frog. Good old science. Hey, imagine if Coach Lassard taught every class. It could be the best Monday day ever. That we should get some Bunsen burners and a frog? Huh. Huh. Ah! Charging star! Final justice! Freedom prevails! Good work, soldier. Hold it. Shield slash. Stars and stripes. Thumbs up, soldier. Victory! Uh. Oh. Eh. Uh. Enjoying the attention, dearest? Honestly, Hank, it's harder to say no to me. And I say we're going. Hank, what in the world do you mean? Well, none of them is Dr. Henry Pym, world's greatest biochemist. Hank, we helped form the Avengers, and don't you forget that. You are as qualified to lead us as anyone. You have to do it, Shuryu. If you're ever going to claim the Dragon's Claw, you have to believe. You are strong, but you've been here five years. It is time to challenge the waterfall of the five peaks. Do not try your best. Do your best, Shiryu. Simply, you have to reverse its direction. No. 
Listen, Shirio. To be a true knight of the Zodiac, you must have the strength to break even the laws of nature. We have waited for five years. Do I look like I have five more years to wait? Become the dragon. Make the waterfall flow upwards, and the cloth of the dragon will be yours. I know. They're why I started doing what I do to make a difference. <laughs> hey, he likes you. Your man Jarvis told me things were a little hot around here. Everyone okay? Look, the timing may be lousy, but if the offer to join the Avengers still stands, I'd like to take you up on it. Look, this is a bad day. We can talk later. You got a problem with me, pal? Because if you do, we can settle it right now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. And who the heck are you? I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. What? But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Totally! Yeah, dude! Get up! Leo's waiting to serve you some dessert! Man, Leo, stomping those bugs sure made me hungry! Bring on the pizzas! Okay, who the heck was that guy and who put that bug up his butt? Yeah, and the first question is... What's on TV? Shh, Raph, I wanna hear this! Man... Wish I could meet April O'Neil someday. And the phone just keeps on ringing. 647th Precinct, cops. This is Long Arm O'Malley here. No, it can't be Iki. This isn't my brother. My brother wasn't full of hate or anger. My brother loved me. My brother was kind. He protected me. We played all kinds of games together. And he let me win. No, it can't be. It's not possible. Brother, what did they do to you? What happened to you on the Island of Doom to make you like this? Oh. 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 Gamma Crush! Gamma Charge! Huh. 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 Let's rock! Who's next? Right? Whoa, slow down, babe. Well, well, what do we have here? Nature calls? It's in the back. Sword. Haha, <laughs> time to go to work, guys. Even as a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. You were the first one to know about my inventions. Looks like I'm getting closer. Grandfather. You said to come here if I was ever in trouble. I know this was your sanctuary, Grandfather. I remember you taking me here to tell me your plans. Teach me about the ancient legends. And the stars. The constellations. We had such happy times here. I could almost forget that I was an orphan. You were so good to me. Grandfather, I don't understand. I remember you warning me that when we held the tournament, something might go wrong. But now, what do we do? What do I do? I just wish you were here. No, you don't. What's this? Time for a tune-up. Who's the bird guy, anyway? Here, lab rat. Something for you to play with. I did. Then I took on Mr. Bright Eyes to save your jet. Sorry. Your boss and his kid would be squirrel food if we hadn't been there. Yeah, he got lucky. Bird Boy's strictly local, and you know it. The Avengers go anywhere, anytime, and can handle anything. So, I'm the Fall Guy, right? Why? If I'm not good enough to be seen with the Avengers, maybe I shouldn't be an Avenger. You think I should crawl away and hide? Simon. You're the only real friend I've ever had. So you know why I... I gotta go. I knew it! That conniving old man has been using Diamond all along! 
Huh? I've never seen the energy indicator at this level. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? What, what are you doing? I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. But our job isn't done. Here, son. I believe this is yours. If I have anything to say about it, agreed. Ow. And you're really stupid for a senior. I'm Kaede Rukawa, first year class 10, and I don't like it when people interrupt my naps, so get lost. Kaede Rukawa. So who are you? Are these idiots friends of yours? I'm fine. I said I'm fine. Who are you anyway? Again for that idiot? Why bother? For crying out loud. <gasps> Hand slipped. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ice beam! Freeze! Arctic attack! Yeah! Ah! Oh, no, please! You're the tenth girl who rejected me since I started high school. Looks like he's the boss. Oh shit. Just got out, too. Miyagi. Ryota Miyagi. I just got the worst orders ever. If I don't sabotage Soundwave Shuttle, Shockwave will terminate me. And Shadow Striker's gonna get us both terminated. <sighs> Look! My hook is shaking! Whoa! Hey, Autobot! You know what this means? This is our way out. We can take him to Megatron. I know. He hated Starscream. Tatsumi, let him go, Tatsumi. Good. And let him go to the Island of Doom instead of Shun. I believe in fate, but Iki, you've chosen your destiny. You've asked for this challenge. It's yours. I wish you all well. You leave here as children, but you will return as knights. Of course. One day you'll understand, Seiya, why all of this must be. Stunts. Pixel, cue up the instant replay. Awesome idea! I can play merry-go-ball, my favorite game. I hold the world record for that, too. Merry-go-ball! Come check out my high score, guys! I do not enjoy causing destruction. But a rest, Saya. Just admit to us that you're too scared to fight. Leave the cloth and beat it. Forgotten already? A real knight, Jab the Unicorn. Hey, don't try to get tough with me, pal. Now you're going to apologize to Princess Sienna. Put down the cloth and get out! Unless you'd rather fight, of course. Listen to this joker. I think he needs a lesson on how to behave around a princess. Now, I'm gonna give it to him. Back off, Shuji. Hey, kid, what's going on? So, you need any help? No problem. I'll show you some of my old tricks, and if you're lucky, I won't even charge you. <laughs> nice job! You rocked! A little more practice and who knows? We could end up as partners at the tournament Shuji was talking about. Hmm, I see what you mean. It's real important to have a tight relationship with your Bakugan. Gotta roll! Catch you later, buddy, and good luck! You did it! I can't believe you just won that tourney as a noob! Hi, Leonidas. Nice to meet you. I'm Dan. <laughs> Not much of a talker, are you? Who is? Don't let them get to you. Just start thinking about your next battle. The tag team tournament's coming up. Two players battle together. Like you and me. When we win, Bruno and Marucho will come around. What do you think? Sweet. So you're in? Whenever you want to practice, just come down to the park. Freeze. Who are you?
What are you doing here? Ooh, sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. What do you mean? His name's Gottfried Adler. He's an expert on genetics, but he's not here. I sent him to Scotland to do research. I'd better take you home. You wouldn't want to get close to me. Not if you knew what I was really like. I'm Warren Worthington, the third. Who are you? Hell, you picked the wrong chalet to terrorize. <laughs> I can't believe it, Pegasus! This is amazing! Pegasus, do you remember the first time you and I met? You were standing in the dark woods. You looked so lonely. But ever since that day, I feel that time has stopped and our friendship has existed forever and that we've been living in a sort of dream. A dream I never want to wake up from because I can't even imagine living life without you anymore, Pegasus. I think you guys are confused. If you think that guy's my boyfriend, you're wrong. I have met someone special, okay? Can't tell you. <gasps> hmm. Pegasus, I will be able to let them meet you someday, won't I? me, but I was just wondering, do you like basketball? Do you like basketball? I'm a big fan. You're so tall, so athletic. Hey, are you as tall as Rukawakun? Wow, you've got great muscles. These are major arms. Your glutes tight. You're an athlete, right? Do you play sport? I'm Haruko Akagi, and you never answered my question. Do you like basketball? He just keeps making my brother angrier. Mito-kun, please, make them stop. Tell Sakuragi-kun it's over, please. Big brother, Sakuragi-kun... I thought the two of you would become friends. That you'd play together. It's the truth. He's amazing, a total natural. His name is Hanamichi Sakuragi, and he's really tall. He's got great instincts. He doesn't know the game, but if you teach him... I thought I'd see if he could dunk. He'd never even held a basketball before, and he took this great jump, and guess what happened? Guess! He slammed his head right into the backboard! Wham! Isn't that wild? Oh yeah, definitely! Sakuragi-kun's totally intense! He could be really great! Look like Gambit gonna win the match. What Gambit get if he win? If Gambit get this kind of welcome, he get captured more often. You know, the open road get awful lonely. You need some company share? Wolverine! You're supposed to be resting. Even you can't heal this fast. Saber- Oh no! I've... I've gotta go. Uh, Cyclops is waiting for me. Ground control to Cyclops. What's with you? We finally get a night out together and you're a million miles away. And it's making you crazy. You're doing the best you can, but you're no good to the professor when you're like this. Relax a little. For the good of the team. So much for our night off. Oh! 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 Ugh. Earthquake! Head crush! Ugh. I'm unstoppable! <laughs> this time, for all our sakes, stay down! Smart man, Vargas. Let's go take a look at that new paddy wagon you helped allocate tax money for. We did it, Alec. The progress of medical science, much like the construction of a great cathedral, is the work of many hands. And I withhold my exultation until the treatment is proved effective. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Good day, Carly. Dr. Bolson and I have been working on this treatment for a long time. We are very hopeful. Yes, of course. What the? Alec, shut the door. It's all right. I'm here. Hang on. It's all right. Alec, get her out of here quickly. Yes, I am. Perhaps you self-appointed social engineers don't realize the crucial role mutation plays in species evolution. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Your anger at the inexorable alienation of late 20th century life is sadly misdirected.
You think maybe he's a freshman too? It's a fight, isn't it? Who are we fighting? If there's a fight, where is it? There, the fight of the century. He doesn't even want to hit anyone. What'd you say? <laughs> there's our Hanamichi. At it again. Even if he got in, it's not like he could do anything. Hanamichi's never going in. I know what you're thinking, punk. Question is, can I get Wolverine before he turns me into shish kebab with those claws? Well, Bob, seeing as how these claws are adamantium, the strongest metal known, and can slice through vanadium steel like a hot knife through butter, buddy, you gotta ask yourself, do I feel lucky? That hunkalicious DJ Thomas Harris is narrating, let's all go! If Hotaru comes, we can probably expect to see Amara and her gang there. They've been watching her every move. Does anybody know why? Maybe they're just trying to protect her. I just want to say something. It's really nice seeing you be so maternal with Rini. It suits you. I hope I get to be a mother someday. I would be terrific at it. We'd heard rumors that there were mysterious shadow creatures running loose in the city. Stories about people being attacked, disappearing. That's why we're out here tonight, to find them and destroy them. It's our job to stop these things before it's too late. Oh, sorry. We should have introduced ourselves. I'm Kaoruko Minigishi, and the three of us work at City Hall Administration, 2nd Division. We're not your ordinary civil servants. We've got big guns. Don't worry, we'll catch that creature. We almost got it this time. It won't get away again. Stand back. We'll be okay. Die, zombie scum. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Wow, thanks for this. I didn't know you were such a fan of ice cream, Mr. Fuyuki. A bit young for you, huh? And we had that freaky incident at the office the other day. We were gonna call the police to deal with it, but then... The... You tell him, Izumi. Monsters, like out of a horror movie. Oh, hey! Hang on, hang on, I forgot. I've got one of the pictures here on my cell, I think. The image was so wild, I downloaded it as wallpaper for my phone. It is not Minos who is to blame. I am at fault, Icarus. I worked for a tyrant building weapons of war used to destroy my own people. My desire for fame and glory has kept me from seeing that this was wrong. I brought all this upon myself and upon you, my son. No! The Minotaur will find you first. We cannot escape. We must accept our fate. Athena, help me. I beg of you. Athena, Forgive me. I was wrong to ignore your advice. If you help us escape, I will never desert you again. <gasps> Icarus. Icarus! I have a plan! We can escape after all! You are right, son. We cannot escape by land or sea, so we will escape. <laughs> by air! You're boring me. If you want to help me nail him, get your team together and let's get started. I destroyed the chamber in my time, in 3999. But before I did, Apocalypse grabbed my time travel device. Now he can just return to any time before the chamber was destroyed to rejuvenate himself. I'm going back to when the pyramid was first built and get rid of it then. Find someone who cares. I left my son back there so I could get out Apocalypse. I may never see Tyler again. If it's important, get it out of him. Or I will. If it makes you feel any better, Gambit. I go in like this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, whenever I got into trouble at school, I used to turn myself into the principal. <laughs> no! He's my friend! They were all my friends. I don't want to hurt them. Ah! But why did they abandon me? Why did they leave me to die? Didn't I tell you? Clear sailing all the way! Wolverine! Pull back! Why did they abandon me? Why did they leave me to die? I'll destroy them all! All the X-Men! Cyclops! Storm! Wolverine! Ah! Uh, uh, ah! What? Making me do this. Uh, uh, why? It's okay. Oh, who cares about Sakuragi-kun? You got to talk to Rukawa-kun. Oh, he's such a babe. You chicken. We only had to run because you were totally so slow. Sure, we never know with you. 
Your brother's awesome. There, there. It's okay. It's okay. We're down 19 to nothing. We're totally out of it now. We're still down by 17. You were really out of it. Haru's right. You're not sick, are you? <laughs> Aren't they sweet, Haru? Hey, Tama. Heads up. Tama. Tama, what are you wearing? <laughs> Hi, Miss Sayagusa. Hello. Miss Sayagusa? I guess she didn't hear me. Don't fight. Ice cream. Tama, page 43, bottom of the page, is the bit of cool karaoke time. Gotcha. They really are such a sweet couple. I wish I had a guy like that. Kim, are you okay? No, Tama, wait, it's too dangerous. Isn't it dangerous? Wow, last time I was at City Hall, all the women wore business suits. Sardine Fancy, catalog from Bait Bass and Beyond. Hmm, a bill from Swallow Falls Electrical. Flint! Totally pointless. Flint, your lab is costing a fortune. I have to shut it down. From now on, you're going to have to invent without power. We're going off the grid. Don't worry, son. You won't miss a thing. Do you know what this is? Give it a go. You got more wrist than an octopus on the basketball court. Welcome to Tim's Bait and Tackle. How can I hook you up? It's my going out of business sign. Flint. An octopus out of water just ends up shooting ink down its tentacle. Adol, it's me, Lair, the poet. I knew you had the courage to save me. But to be honest with you, I allowed myself to be caught. I didn't know any other way to find you. I have something of great interest for you. You are aware of the books of East, but not everyone can read these books. I have a pair of glasses that will allow you to do so. You have shown your courage, and I see you as our only hope. Please, take the glasses. The demon who locked me here is Dark Fight. He is plotting to use his evil powers to make this land his own. You must defeat Dark Fact if we are to have any chance. Behold the universe. Incredibly complex, yet wonderfully simple. It encompasses all creation while racing towards its ultimate end. Within this maelstrom of growth and destruction blaze millions of galaxies, billions of stars and planets. This sector of the universe alone is home to uncountable civilizations. Sentient life, so varied that no one race would ever have been able to imagine the others. Throughout the ages, these civilizations have encountered each other time and time again, and have mingled their cultures and beliefs. Two societies, however, the Kree, a race so old, that it is the basic stock from which developed all others, and the Sprub, avaricious upstarts who live only to serve their hive mother, have dedicated themselves to the subjugation of all others. For countless eons, they have battled each other for supremacy, with neither side able to gain a definitive advantage. Hey, you three! Don't just stand there! Take this ball to the trebuchet! Follow me! Ready to tussle, sugar? Tryout's over! You failed! And I look good doing it! He and his new invention are due in Paris shortly, Claw, darling. I will be there to intercept him once I clear this infuriating traffic! Inspector Gadget is chaperoning the professor! Try the pose, Inspector Gadget! Say, aren't you Gadget's annoying niece? Out of my way, little girl! Oh, why, thank you, sir, whom I totally don't know at all. You, little girl, are becoming a nuisance! My spirit and I aren't hungry. I'm sorry, Hank. I can't tell you. This has nothing to do with Lorna! I tried doing what Xavier wanted. It was never enough to please him. Then, after we nearly lost Lorna, I took off, and Lorna came with me. I got a job. We lived like normal people. We weren't trying to fight the entire world. We were young, and very much in love. And then the arguments began, always about our powers and our duty to use them in the fight for mutants' rights. Lorna sounded more and more like Xavier, but I still loved her. One day I came by her apartment, she was gone. The place was a wreck. My only lead was a scrap of paper with the name 
Kirby Glenn. I think the government grabbed Lorna. Hank, get me out of here. His name is Cable. An American, apparently. He was a mercenary in the leader's army. Until he found out the leader wasn't the champion of democracy he claimed to be. We're not sure, but we suspect he's a mutant. So he threw his wages back in the leader's face and took to the hills to start a revolution. Today you channeled the power of the cosmos. That power is now yours, Seiya. Never forget that. That same power that caused the universe to begin with a bang is still with us, still around us, and within us. That is your guardian star, Seiya. That is Pegasus. Whenever you doubt, look to the stars and feel that strength. Pegasus. It is your strength. It is your power. The power of Pegasus. Just look to the stars. Eh? What? Oh, yes, I'm hot, most certainly. Still, my royal water park should be completed soon. Then all the kingdom will have a place to cool off and have fun. Sprite! Eh? Oh, uh, yes, I forgot. But you'll be back for the opening of my water park. Fairies like water. I wonder how the work is going. Oh, Pooh, what could be bad about a wonderful place like this? A happy place for all my people. Slides, waterfalls, pools. <laughs> how can I thank you? You've done so much for us. I hope this will convince those pirates to give up. I'm afraid to think what might happen if they get their hands on the treasure. The legends say a horrible disaster will occur if it's ever unearthed. <sighs> Even if that's just a myth, lately we've been detecting increased activity underground. The Reaverbots are apparently activating of their own accord. It has me concerned. Maybe there's some truth to those stories about a horrible disaster? I wonder. Mega Man, would you be willing to explore the caves and dungeons on the island and see if you can find anything? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Here, you'll need this. Welcome to the sacred temple of Cherry Hill. Would you like the guided tour? Huh? <laughs> I bet you'd rather go with Jed, wouldn't you? <laughs> hmm, that's okay. I'll just send you on your way with a few extra good wishes to go with your new charms. <laughs> I love it when there's a full moon. Mm. Reminds me of when we used to go camping and roast marshmallows with my grandpa. Ah! Who are you? What are you doing up there? Oh, I feel evil. Ah! Get up! We're not finished. Move it, Chad. You can't be sleeping on the job if you're going to be my apprentice. He asked me to teach him the ways of the temple, so that's what I did. At least he listens to me. Not like some members of my own family! <laughs> if I don't train him, you'll be left all alone to run the temple! But you can't do it by yourself! <laughs> I got you, Chad! I got you, Chad! I got you, Chad! Thank you for taking care of my young one. Know that you have a friend in the Dragons of Light. Welcome home. Meet your family. Easy, easy there! I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. My name's Claire. What's yours? Do you know where your parents are? The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. 
But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. And now you two knuckleheads gonna let me get some sleep. You silly chimp, get away from there. It's not a toy. That'll teach ya. I don't know. No one knows all the mysteries the magical orb holds. It's a mystery why I'm still talking to you two. Now let's get some sleep. Uh, all right. But then you're out of here. Don, Scott, Vamoose. It all began with Captain Scurvy's great, great, great grandpappy. He stole the coconut, brought it to the island. Na na na. Scurvy scum swindler that he was, etc. etc. He stashed it in the eye of Inca Dinka. Coconut popped out. Na na na. DK found it, yada yada yada, the future ruler of Congo Bongo, the end. It beats the bananas out of me. You'll know all the secrets when Inka Dinka do thinks you're ready. Until then, I've got a little tip for you, DK. Go home and let me get some sleep! Thunder Strike! Thunder Strike! You can see it, can't you, Nachi? You can see my fist. Tearing your cloth. Destroying you. It's over, Nachi. You're through! Done in by your own fear. Ha! Might as well stick a fork in him. Cause this night is done. You must mean my cloth. The tournament's over. And I think we have a winner. And that would be me! I'd like to thank the Academy. Okay, guys, let's do it. Should. It really is me, little brother. Oh, what's not possible is that you're still a crybaby! <laughs> EM Pulse! Shockwave! Hypergrav! Magnetic! Tempest! You dare rise against me. The human era is over. The mutant era has come. You are beaten. Magneto is scream. No one is safe. Know my name and fear it. I am Onslaught. The dream is dead. Know my pain and anger. Feel my fury. Taste my wrath. Behold my mighty hand. I reject your presence. Hypergrav! Magnetic Tempest! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! 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 Oh! You shall be the first to fall! Oh! <laughs> Give it up! You can't get away from us! Alright, let's bring him down! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll kill you quick! Won't hurt a bit! Sure, go ahead! <laughs> Mano y mano, time to finish you off. <laughs> Why won't he die? That was just a warm up. <laughs> your worst nightmare. Try to gain to the high seas at your service. You come in here all alone. That proves one thing you're either brave or you're very stupid. <laughs> just became a cash and carry caper. <laughs> and no one else can up or we'll jump you to bits! How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? 
My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. No, it's just fine. And it's waiting for you, criminal vermin. Share Mauser to you, you despicable felons. Under arrest, apprehended, and busted. You flatter me. Thank you for setting off that alarm, Professor. You are truly a credit to our call. Fascinating toy, this. I've always wanted to see if it truly is as indestructible as they say. Perhaps later we shall find out. Forget him, Capitan. He's one of us now. And you have more immediate concern. <laughs> How are you progressing, Herr Professor? Convincing you to join our cause is perhaps my greatest triumph. And to think I once doubted your loyalty. Sure I can. Yeah, but this will be the last time. In the name of me great 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 grandpappy Captain Scurvy, may maggots ravage his rotten remains, hand over me birthright, hand over the crystal coconut. Captain Scurvy, you dim with it, Simeon. <laughs> I'm back. Aye, but life isn't all fun and games. <laughs> We've come back to get what's rightfully mine. So I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. Listen up, you reptiles! The Koopa family meeting will come to order! So far, I've sent you Koopalings to pull sneaky little tricks and medium-sized meanness. Now you're ready for the biggest badness of all! Koopa guards, show them the guy we're out to get's life-size portrait! Somebody is gonna stop him! I'm gonna turn Prince Hugo the Huge into a poodle! <laughs> a miniature poodle! <laughs> So, who's gonna bring me Prince Hugo so I can Koopa him into submission? You are now sneaky, lying, cheating, giant ninja Koopas, and nothing can stop you. Now, bring me Prince Hugo so I can cut him down to size. <laughs> At last, you did some rottenness worthy of a Koopa. I'm so proud of you, Koopalings. Now you'll see why I modestly <laughs> call myself a genius. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Omega destroyer. Omega strike. Destroyer. Yeah. Silence. Sauron and Sauron alone will rule the savage land. I will absorb every ounce of energy you possess. I can feel it building.
Pray. Destiny awaits. Thanos reigns. What gives? I dig and I dig and I'm still nowhere near the bottom. Maybe we will need that key after all. He's coming. All right, everyone, quit digging. Our priority now is to get rid of our little blue friend, all right? Be careful and don't be fooled by his size. He's already beaten Bon and Tron. Let's do it. I would have emptied that train if those wretched Avengers hadn't interfered. Tiger Shark, I did not ask for your assistance. Hmm, smaller than I had imagined, yet elegant. Good work, Dragonfly. My socks exactly. Naturally. And this shall be the key to retrieving them. And at last, I shall wreak my vengeance on the man who murdered my beloved father. I will break him as he broke my father. I will destroy the cursed Captain America. This time victory must be mine. I want to do what I was sent here to do. And if you don't want the life crushed out of your little body, you're gonna help. Magneto ordered me to find this place and take it over. He knew your buddies would be at Beast's Drive and that wimp professor would take me in. He's got the ex-guy figured. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy tearing this place up. Now, you get me out of this rig before I... You done nice, Curly. For a reward, I'll finish you off clean and fast. <laughs> Wolverine never should have let me live. I wish he was here so I could take care of his carcass too. Whatever you say, pal. I'd heard you'd gone soft. I was curious. I think maybe I heard right. How about a little taste of adamantium? For all time's sake. Got your nap in there, mateys! You've all gone soft playing at being landlubbers. Anyone home to receive a poor old sea dog who's down on his luck? Bad rang me old messmate. It's good for these old eyes to see you again. And look what I brought for ya! <laughs> Think poison, matey! It's damsel wine! <laughs> the best on earth! And all for me and you! Get out of my way! I have unfinished business here, and I want to finish it fast! You'll always need help, because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn-out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly! Now, I've come back to find a lost steam engine. I'm gonna destroy her and dominate you, and then you'll be nothing but useless scrap! Right, Inchy? Hello, Twinkle Toes. I got a plan, and you're not in it. Losing your sparkle, huh? What perfect timing. Now, where is that lost engine? Now I'll get you, Burnett Stone. You can run, but you can't hide. Right, Inchy? <laughs> Inchy's hungry. Look out. Here I come. Duck, Pinchy. <laughs> I served under the original Megatron. General Clump, I order you to seize the coconut. I need that lusty coconut. Oh, that I'm nothing but a lowly lizard. A prehistoric throwback. I am ordering you to eat, exterminate, annihilate the simple-minded ape. While cutting the obnoxious lout's hair, chant snip, clip, power slip. You're a wimp and that's it. He'll be left as weak as a baby and... <laughs> Listen to this. His strength will not return unless his hair grows back. That's it. Cut Donkey Kong's hair and before it grows back, I'll have a coconut. <laughs> Just reflector, crush, destroy.
get ready to die. You Patel Thunder. Kill. You've got no chance. Pitiful scum. Tremble before my might. Tyrant punish. Ah ha ha. You die.